Okay, so I just got off a ferry. I was with my family. We're going to Victoria. I told you all about this, but we had to take a little bit of a detour immediately after getting off the ferry on our way down to Victoria. We're in North Saanich over here, pulled over in a Canadian tire parking lot. And the reason we are here is because I had to step out and make a breaking news video because the Montreal Canadiens, man. Yesperi Kotkaniemi, he has just signed an offer sheet with the Carolina Hurricanes. Now, this move right here is an absolute game changer in the entire Montreal Canadiens cap, organizational structure, roster structure, etc. Because the contract that Kotkaniemi signed with the Hurricanes, get this, it's one year long, $6.1 million of an AAV. That is extraordinarily high. And even with all the LTIR space the Canadians would be using up with Weber and all that, that's a big contract and it's gonna be giving them some really big problems if the Montreal Canadiens choose to match the offer sheet. And the reason I say that, my goodness, it's pretty loud out here, eh? Sandwich, eh? Love it. But the reason this is a big deal is because if the Canadians match this, all of a sudden, Kotkaniemi's qualifying offer for next year would be in that $6 million ballpark as well. And this is a pretty big deal because you take a look at what Kotkaniemi has done. Sure, he's 21 years old. Sure, he's a center playing a pretty valuable role for the Canadiens, but he scored 20 points in 56 games last year. He was on pace for 30 points in a full 82 game season. Absolutely not worth $6.1 million at the moment. Now he signed the offer sheet mostly because the money that he is getting on that offer sheet is indeed a really big deal. And as we noted, it could be a really beneficial part for him if he gets $6.1 million next year, which he is confirmed to be getting either with Carolina or Montreal, and the qualifying offer next year is also in that ballpark. But the Carolina Hurricanes just went out there and threw a monkey wrench in the entire Montreal Canadiens organizational structure, pretty much as an F you to Mark Bergevin for that Sebastian Ajo offer sheet a few years ago. Now, I really don't know if the Carolina Hurricanes are going to go out there and actually intend to bring Kotkaniemi to their team. You know, they actually signed this offer sheet thinking, oh, the Canadians are just going to match it and then they're going to be screwed. Or if they really did think, okay, well, we really want this player, so let's get him over here. Let's play him with Ajo have that Finnish connection over there. But either way, if the Canadians decide not to qualify this offer sheet, they will be receiving a first and a third round pick in compensation for Kotkaniemi. So you have to think about it like this. Do you want to get Kotkaniemi on your squad? Keep him here for $6.1 million. He scored at a 31 point pace last year, or excuse me, a 29 point pace. So it's 30 point pace. He's going to be getting a $6.1 million qualifying offer next year regardless because that is the amount of money he has now is that more valuable and do you want to take that bet or would you just take the first and the third instead from Carolina you have to think about it like okay well we just lost Philippe Deneau that's one center already gone on this team Kotkaniemi is in a position where if he goes out there and we lose him to an offer sheet here by Carolina sure we're getting the picks but we've already lost one of our main guys from the playoff run where we went to the finals last year is it just Nick Suzuki's ball game now? Suzuki and like Evans or Ryan Paling too. Is it going to be their team next year without Dano, without Kakinemi? Are we still going to be able to do okay? That's what you have to ask yourselves. And those are the kinds of questions that I think the Carolina Hurricanes were going out there thinking in their heads, okay, we really want to mess with Montreal and their chemistry here. So let's go ahead. Kotkaniemi, $6.1 million for one season. That contract is absolutely bad at the moment. Absolutely, does Kotkaniemi have the potential to work and live up to that contract? He does. He's a great player, 21 years old. We know he has a lot more to prove, but he scored at a 30-point pace in 82 games last year. That is not worth $6.1 million, especially for one year. I don't care which 21-year-old you are, if you're scoring that amount of points and you're making the amount of impact that Kotkaniemi does not the ice, you're not worth that amount of money yet. So it's a really big bet. If the Hurricanes legitimately do believe that Kotkaniemi is a six plus million dollar player at this stage of his career, honestly, I'd think about just letting him go because if you really are secure in that belief, hey, you're willing to give up a first and a third round pick in compensation to the Montreal Canadiens should they not match your offer sheet. But 
All of a sudden, you know, there's a lot more bad blood thinking about this because of the context. You already lost a no. The money on the LTIR isn't going to be enough to take over all this stuff if you take Kotkaniemi 6.1 qualifying offer next year with all the other guys that they have, plus the fact that there was the Aho offer sheet a few years ago. They still needed to take revenge for that, and it looks like they're doing that here with this move. We got 24 hours, or however long it is. I, how long do they have to accept offer sheets? I don't really know. 24 hours just popped in my head. I don't know if that's completely right. We will update this story as it goes along. I had to cancel the regular 3 p.m. scheduled video for today, move it to tomorrow, because my goodness, this is a breaking piece of news. Kotkaniemi offer sheet, $6.1 million, one year. Carolina Hurricanes getting involved in here. Talk to me in the comments. What do you think about this extraordinarily big move right here? We've got to go drive down to Victoria. We are still here in a Canadian tire parking lot. I've recorded all this in one take. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go revisit my family. I think they went inside the Canadian tire just to see whatever is there. But talk to me in the comments, though. Either way, Kotkaniemi, Offer Sheet, Carolina, Montreal. Match it, not match it. What do you want? Compensation, whatever. Talk to me in the comments. What do you think of you enjoyed? This is Josh Rolls 99. And bye.